G'day guys, Chris here. A few people have been asking how I go about making these bird sculptures. So rather than me typing it out, I thought I'd show you. Come for a walk. So I usually start by taking a bit of a walk in the uh, backyard and trying to find a spot like this under an old eucalyptus tree. There's always uh, some some good little pieces of wood for me to find. Good little spot, little treasure trove for me. Old tree stump that's uh, long since fallen over and rotted away. and and I'm looking for pieces like this. Really old, weathered, dry pieces of wood. Okay, so here we go. These are the uh, three pieces that I just collected from out in the paddock. I'm gonna grab that one and reach for the trusty hammer and chisel. And what I'm looking for is spots on here that that the wood itself is telling me that um, it would like to split at. So looking for a nice little spot like that there is probably where I'll start. Um, another one through there and, and several spots here. So um, make sure it's secured against the, the block that I've got here. Position the chisel. Give it a healthy whack and produce a shard like that. Next, next step is to go and find myself a branch which will be or which will form the skeleton of the bird that I'm making. So, um, simply a piece of kindling like this. Most people would go and burn it, but not me. So here's one I prepared earlier. So simple cut, glue, nail through, skew nail back through, and rejoin it. And then from there, I would uh, remove all the bark and then start the process of picking up one of the shards, trying to look for the right shard for the shape that I want to achieve. And for this little fella, he'll end up being a magpie. So um, magpie's bodies are gonna be about that long and, and I'd start looking for the tail feathers first and then work my way up. So um, see, again, here's one that I did a bit earlier. And, and then I start this going through attaching the feathers um, piece by piece. I use exterior glue and uh, then I find the right spot for each feather. So if I'm happy with that one there, then out comes the glue and uh, the nails. So I keep working my way up until I get to the top and eventually you will end up looking like this.